Raiding as the Empire can be an effective strategy when done correctly. It allows for a small number of the Empire's most elite units to bypass the enemy space forces and engage the planet below. If the raid successfully eliminates all ground forces, the planet will be conquered and all space stations will be destroyed, leaving the fleet orbiting the planet vulnerable. To begin a raid, you will need units with a stealth logo. Stealth logos are designated by a blue circle with a yellow person inside on the bottom left corner of that unit. You can only have a certain amount of stealth units on the galactic map at one time. Keep in mind that the Empire is not known for stealth, causing them to have a smaller limit of stealth units and heroes than the Rebels. Common stealth units for the Empire are Storm Commando Platoons and Storm Commando Demolition Platoons recruitable through a level 3 barracks, as well as Nogri Assassin Squads recruitable on the planet Honiger. The most important hero with stealth is going to be the non-human ISB agent Garandin. Garandin is an exceptional spy who doesn't help on the battlefield, but when orbiting a planet, provides full intel on all ground and space forces and structures. He will be provided to you after a certain number of weeks have passed in your campaign. Once you have come across a planet you would like to raid, you should first send Garandin to scout the planet and learn what forces you need to destroy. If you think you are capable of winning the fight, send in the rest of your army. When choosing what planet to raid, I recommend you find one with civilians loyal to the Empire as they will help fight to liberate their planet. A great example of this is Zumbara, which provides you with a very capable militia reinforcements. Once your troops have arrived, drag them onto the planet to initiate a raid. This raid now becomes like any other ground battle, but with the limited units capable of stealth. The key component to raiding is the stealth unit's abilities, mostly referring to the stealth ability that makes the squads invisible. All three of the units I recommended have this ability so you can use them in tandem to sneak past the enemy and engage their buildings. Engaging their buildings will prevent them from gaining reinforcements throughout the battle. While raiding as the Imperials can be very strong, you will have limited troops to choose from until you unlock the Dark Troopers later down the line. With less planets loyal to the Empire, you will also have less civilians to help fight for you. While you absolutely can still raid as the Empire, it is certainly much harder than the Rebels, which is how it should be. Also, if you are looking for a list of the planets loyal to the Empire, click the video on the screen now.